Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face. I wanted to talk about Triglavia hunting. Is it worth it? Is it worth your time to get invested in this? And if you're not even aware of what Triglavia hunting is, well, it's where you can earn, it's in high sec with using pretty heavy beefy battleships mainly. You can also use certain battle cruisers, but mainly big beefy battleships and earn up to, I'd say 300 million Iskana in optimal conditions. But Depending on the fit and conditions you are met with, maybe 150 to 200 million is gonna a lot. A lot of variants can exist here, but it can be quite a lucrative activity, and it can also be quite a fun activity and also challenging activity at the same time. And it is, as I said before, mainly done in high sec because you can also do this in low sec, but it's a bit more risky. So. Uh, this is usually mainly done in a high sec, but I wanted to talk to you guys about like, if this is even worth it, is it worth your time and maybe aspects to take into consideration if you're trying to get into this or thinking about getting into this. So let's just quickly go over how Triglavi hunting works for you guys who don't know how it works. It is basically that in high sec and even low sec, there are certain systems which can have a Triglavi and wormhole spawn. There's like a list you can find, lists you can find on the internet Otherwise, if you're not aware of these lists, then it'll just seem like, oh, just random systems occasionally can have Triglavian wormholes in them. And if there is a Triglavian wormhole that, in the system, you can actually scan them down the probe scanner. But also, if there just is one, then occasionally in planets and in the sun and uh, sometimes even moons, you can have these Triglavian fleet spawn. You can see them on the D scan. And these then can be hunted and you can then kill them. And when you kill them, you can salvage the wrecks, and then you can sell the components from the wrecks for very high amounts of uh, isk. It's very lucrative in that case, and they can also drop uh, the uh, Triglavian survey data as well, which can be worth quite a bit. So it can be quite lucrative, and it involves basically just hunting down Triglavians in different celestials, and you can also find them as well at these wormholes themselves that I was talking about. I remember I said that, okay, if a wormhole exists in the system, then... Uh, you can have Triglav and Fleet spawn in. There's also a fleet that can be found at the wormhole as well. But that's how it works. But is it worth it? And what are the considerations you need to think about when starting to get into this activity? Well, the number one thing I think you should know is that there are two usual philosophies when it comes to uh, Triglav hunting. And that can dictate and affect a lot the how, how it's worth it. Because you've got the sniping philosophy and the brawling philosophy in my opinion there's two philosophies here i'm in a golem and this golem here is a battleship that is i would say very ideal for the brawling philosophy it's got a really good tank and torpedoes have a really nice range to be able to fight triglavins so uh unlike maybe a chronos which has got neutron blasters maybe the range is not enough for some of the Triglavians that keep range with you, but I love the torpedoes on the ship here. So brawling is an option. You can go like a really big beefy battleship tanking stuff, but also dishing out tons of damage. But then there's another option, a more cheaper, but maybe slower option is to go sniper route. And sniper route actually is the most accessible option because you can even do this as an alpha clone. I, you check the video, I, I've made a Triglavian hunting guide as an alpha clone, where you can even use like a battle cruiser, a naga, uh, and do this and it actually it works pretty well you can use it and just basically warp to these fleets at a very long range and then you just snipe them and use your range as the biggest defense the downside with sniping fits is that looting is a lot more difficult than the brawling style and that can severely affect your is power because when you do uh, at least when you're doing this as a solo fleet if you're using alts or you're doing this with many other people who can have dedicated salvages then it's a different situation but i'm talking about this from the solo perspective from a solo perspective sniping is uh, pretty slow just because you have to have then someone or yourself then who will have to go in and collect all the wrecks because they're going to be all over the place since you're sniping uh, you're going to have wrecks that are like hundreds of kilometers from each other, so it's going to be pretty difficult. You're going to have to have an MTU, multiple MTUs sometimes, hauling in all the wrecks that are all over the place. And this takes a lot of time. The MTUs take a lot of time to haul in an item that's 100 kilometers away. It takes them about like 100 seconds, depending on the tier of uh, MTU. So loot cleanup can take a long time and the downside especially with loot cleanup being prolonged is that that is where your isk lies your isk lies in the wrecks not any kind of bounty or anything like that when you're doing regular ratting in nullsec uh, rather it's the wrecks you want to have as quick as possible and when you're going in brawling style then it's a lot easier 
So why am I even mentioning this, that there's like two different philosophies here? Well, the reason is just because it affects a lot the kind of ship you're going to have to invest in to be able to uh, run trigger armor hunting because in my knowledge it is extremely difficult to do trigger armor hunting in a cheap ship in brawling style you're gonna to have to have the most reliable in fact i don't think i've found any ship that comes close to the reliability of the golem all other ships i found to be somewhat lackluster the pounding can be good but it's usually very difficult to do brawling style true lovey hunting without investing multiple billions of isk very difficult i've not found any situations if they are correct me if i'm wrong but i have not been able to find any ships that are able to reliably do true lovey hunting that don't cost less or that cost less than multiple billions and when it comes to the sniper style well then you can actually go very cheap you can go with a cheap fit paladin or cheap fit chronos that is very very cheap maybe like a tech 2 fitted is no problem uh, and you can also go extremely cheap by going with like say something like a naga or a battle cruiser tech 1 battle cruiser that's enough the point is to get range so uh, depending on the philosophy you choose it depends a lot on how much you have to invest but to properly uh, do the trigger army hunting i would say brawling is very important solo style because looting is going to be very uh, cumbersome very difficult very long uh, it's going to take a really long time so then i would say do you drink lava hunting really effectively go rolling style if you're doing the solo okay if you go rolling style then then you have to have a very very expensive ship so if you want to go uh, and uh, farm the trick lava hunting really well then you're going to very likely have to spend a really big amount of isk on a ship and uh, not any ship it's going to be a marauder then because those are the pretty much the optimal ships to do these in and if you're going to do, do brawly star trick army hunting then you're going to want to make sure that marauder is good because even if you've got a really powerful marauder not any marauder can just take on these trick army hunting you have to have a trick army hunting fleets you need to have a really big amount of tank big tank to be able to take on these guys because these guys output a ton of damage my golem here is using a pith x type no gist x type x large shield booster with dual pith mc type multi-spectrum shield hardness and full high grade crystal implant set and then we've also got then uh, shield boost amplifier as well pith x type even damage control so we've got then nosferatus here which help us then with the capacity a little bit point is you're gonna have to have really good cutting edge skills and isk and just overall investment into your ship to be able to run these so this is something that is a uh, very effort consuming in terms of the capital like you will have to get a good ship if you want to do this really well you can do sniping takes a long time less is power but then you go with also a cheaper ship so it's your choice to make uh, the downside also to i would say to the brawling is that maybe it's a little bit more prone to ganks because then you're going to have a little bit easier time getting warped on you because you're going to likely be close to celestial which can easily be warped to uh, but that's the main thing i want to stress here is that usually a big capital is required to do trigger larvae hunting well uh, another consideration that you should know before doing trigger larvae hunting is that when you do trigger larvae hunting the activity of itself requires quite a bit of time to do quickly and casually unless you're lucky unless you're lucky because you have different processes to trigger larvae hunting first you have the process of finding the triglavian wormhole and an adequate site an adequate system to do triglavian hunting in and that usually takes a bit of time like it can even take a good 10 minutes very often it can take a good 10 minutes to find it because you have to then there's certain systems that triglavian wormholes can spawn in and then not everyone has one at that point in time so you're going to often have to travel from system to system to system try to find one then you find one and then what you're going to have to do is then move your golem there and maybe when you're traveling to system to system, to system then you're maybe in your frigates then you have to go back and then bring the golem or whatever ship you're using to that trigger larvae hunting system and then another process that is required to do like hardcore farming is that you need to destroy the wormhole fleet because every trigger larvae wormhole when it spawns in high sec has a guarding wormhole fleet so when you need to destroy you need to destroy this wormhole fleet because it's a small fleet it's not a really big fleet compared to the really big triglavian waves you could find at planets later but the thing is you need to take this out and when you take this out you need to also destroy some of the initial fleets that you can because in conjunction with this uh, like guarding fleet near the wormhole you'll also find some fleets near 
planets. They're also small fleets. You need to clear all these initial fleets and the wormhole fleet to get the big boys to spawn in, to get the big fleets that you earn a lot of is to spawn in. And it also takes a bit of waiting time as well. So you then have to then find the wormhole, then you also have to destroy the wormhole fleet, and then you also have to perhaps destroy a couple of small minor fleets near planets, these initial fleets as I call them. And then you have to wait a bit of time. Usually it takes a bit of time for the big stuff to spawn. It doesn't happen instantly when you destroy everything. And stuff needs to take a bit of time for the game to like work and give all the ticks to go in so that the big wormhole fleets so that the big tree lava fleets spawn so overall i would say preparation time is something really big to take into consideration because it's not like abyss abyss is really great because you can just hop in hop out Say you've got a very busy life, very busy schedule, true love and hunting may be not the most suited for you. It can be good. I mean, if you are in already in a true love and hunting system when you log in and you've got true love is there, there's no problem. Or you just want to go for the wormhole fleets and the small initial fleets, that's no problem as well. I'm talking about if you want to do hardcore is grinding, uh, then if you've got like a very busy schedule, just want to hop on for a short amount of time, then usually trig larvae hunting is not the most ideal activity in my opinion because it requires quite a bit of preparation time. A lot of prep time is required to get stuff going. Uh, so that's why it's something you need to think about because sometimes when I want to oh, I want to get some good isk I want to do some high level activity well I'll just do a bit because true love hunting even though maybe I would feel like I want to do that it I don't have the time really to do that and uh, that is just a, a big thing that I didn't know from the beginning so it just could be good for you to know as well um, if you're not really playing on for so long you can't really play more than like 20-30 minutes many people can play longer than that and then true love hunting may be not the most suited for you and then also another thing to just keep in mind is that this activity exists in high sec so you're finding these fleets in high sec but the thing with these fleets is that it is similar to the abyss and that it's hard to quit mid like mid combat because you've got a lot of scrams warp disruptors here they're going to keep you on grid so if you log out you're eventually going to die so just keep that in mind also if you have a busy life busy family and you have to go on a short notice then maybe it'll be troublesome doing these because then maybe you could die uh, if you have a really good fit you can maybe use the or leave the shield booster running no problem but uh, it can get sketchy if you just log off because they've got really powerful stuff here and also they've got a lot of warp scramblers or warp disruptors so it's not like say an l4 mission where you can just warp off and it's no problem it's not the same thing in here so what would I say then? Would Trigla is Triglavian hunting worth it? I would say definitely yes. I think Triglavian hunting is worth it because you earn tons of isk. If I'm using a golem and I find a system with lots of Triglavian fleets in, then I can earn up to 300 million isk, maybe even more if I'm lucky, if I get some lots of good fleets. So you can earn tons of risk. I also think it's pretty fun because you get tons of incoming damage, so you really have to manage your shield boosting. So it can be get quite intense. I think it's pretty fun. It is also uh, quite uh, fun to be able to see other people in my opinion when you see other trigger line hunters band together and fight them i think that player interaction can be quite cool at the same time as well so it's been a little bit more social a little bit more connected to the eve universe than abyss for example i feel like i'm still there you know in the system of inu for example i'm still here uh, you're still going to be fighting you know, in a completely different dimension so some people can still encounter you uh, and people can gank you as well but I like that it's an alternative to the Abyss where, which allows you to use a big bulky battleship that you are going around and being more connected with other people. So I think true climbing hunting is worth it. Fun activity that gives a ton of risk when you're doing it optimally. Downside is that it requires a big investment in terms of the ship skills but also in terms of time, usually time, unless you want to just do very small amounts of fleets. If you want to get the hardcore is grinding method or doing the hardcore trig larvae and farming, then it's going to take a long time to get the everything prepped up properly in the system to have optimal conditions. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Trig larvae hunting, if it's worth it or not, I think it is very fun. Just got some considerations to rem remember. If you did enjoy the video or learn something new, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.